I'm moving. So, I'm moving this week and this is also why this video might turn up a bit later than my usual schedule. I have tried to schedule a video every Friday now for the last 15 or so weeks and it has gone pretty good so far and I would like to keep up that pace and everything but I think now my life is gonna change a bit and with that the YouTube channel as well and I still want to give you quality videos as I've seen my last videos I, I'm much more proud of those videos actually as I've given the channel a new face sort of with this whole a minimalist perspective on collecting and so forth. Now I'm going back to my old hometown and I'm gonna start working again at my old job temporarily as the pandemic is still going on, the vaccinations are going out and yeah it's just yeah you have to have some ice in the stomach right now and I have finished off my course my two-year year course on 3D visualization and I'm gonna use those tools eventually but for now the market is just not there right now. So I'm going back temporarily there to my old work and working on a almost full-time schedule and that means not much time to make videos. But I still want to make the same type of quality videos so maybe it won't turn up once a week but maybe every other week I would think if I still want to keep the same quality as I feel that the latest video has had. But hopefully you'll stay here either way and await new videos if you like my content. And yeah, about this moving thing, I can't really grasp that the day, day is already here because it's not even two years ago that I moved here. And in the beginning I didn't even move to this town where I'm currently in. At first I stayed four weeks at the campus site itself and lived in a shared bedroom with another student. Now, but this school education has gone by so fast and especially in the beginning. The first year has been truly one of the best years in my life. Not only because it started my education on a new path to something that I truly enjoy and that is photography and designing and furnishing but also because I met someone and will now share my future with and are moving in with me now to our new place my old place new place so yeah there's a lot of things that change here at once and I'm all for it it slows things down actually when things are changing and are not your normal day-to-day -day activity. That is clearly how I felt in the first eight months or so for the course before the pandemic started. We went to school trips to Copenhagen and Denmark and watched all the architecture there and then we went to the Stockholm Furniture Fair. We also went to another town in Sweden watching this Japanese style museum. It was a bit dark when we arrived but it still had some footage on it. But yeah, the school trips and the education itself on the new 3D program or new, it was new to me. I'm still learning. We have learned about 10% maybe of a program and there's so much more to grasp and to fully realize a full 100% uh, realistic render. But then as the pandemic started the gears kind of shifted and yeah it was every day in front of the computer in my apartment joining in on Zoom meetings each and every day and yeah it was not the same but eventually it became the new normal and then the days started to blur together and basically Sometimes I woke up and I didn't even know what day it was. So that truly proves to me that 
the times w when we actually do something different out of a norm, that is when time slows down. So in future, I'm gonna try to make as much moments and times slow down so you actually can take them in and everything. Eventually, we're gonna be able to travel again and I've never been the type of person to actually go on weekend trips or anything, but I think that is going to change now because you've been in this sort of mental cage now. And yeah, there are places that I want to see like New York and I want to visit, visit Japan, London. I mean, I have to do that sometime. And if you're going to go forward with other things, those things should be tackled at once, I think. But yeah, I'm talking about a lot of stuff here, future plans and everything, and my school education, and I'm moving. And let me tell you, it has been one heck of a ride. Not only did I sell half of my bookshelves, so now I'm down to two full-size billy shelves. I also have one skinny billy shelf on the way and that will be my new setup. That is pretty much my old setup as I had it in my bedroom before I moved here. And I'm just pushing myself to be more conscious about what books I want to have or what I want to reread. Now time is different for me also because working more uh, time at a full-time job, got to be less time reading, less time on YouTube and everything. So I have to manage my time at some place and take some time back from things that would have taken up some time. I have a whole video on this, so I don't need to get more into that. One thing I learned about this, now packing up so many books, I'm about at 450 books right now. And but I can't imagine the first time I moved here with over 900 because n n now we're talking about the physical weight of all the books not only mentally on oh my god I have all these books I need to read and everything but also the physical weight to actually drag them back and forth you truly do not know the weight of your collection literally until you move them all that is pretty obvious, but still, I urge you to try it once to feel are they worth their weight? Because I'm starting to feel that no, maybe not, or maybe I need to work out, one or the other. But I did do an experiment before I actually sold those shelves off. I just imagined that I ha already only had the two Billy shelves and the one slimmer one, which would make up for a total of 15 rows within the three or four bookshelves that I had. So I simply took out all of the graphic novels that I had and then one by one I placed them back just to see which books that I actually maybe didn't want to reread or maybe just reread once and then sell them off. And that actually came out with a few books that I felt that I could get rid of once again. And it also proved to me that there's a lot of books that I still want to read and still want to hold on to. And there's nothing wrong with that. But doing this experiment really helped and really showed me what I really like. But now I can simply separate the books from the ones that I want to keep and the ones that I want to sell into different boxes and the box I use to pack all of this up is in banana chiquita boxes. I think they're good, they're sturdy. They have a hole in the middle of them, in the bottom of them, but it doesn't bother me because they're so, I, I don't know what they use, glue or staple them together or something with huge staples, but they hold together and they carry the weight of the omnibus. Maybe I'm just not as careful as other people are with their books, moving them, but I don't really use any bubble wrap around them. I just fill up the box 
from the short end to the other. And that's it, because I don't want to move over 60 boxes again. I'm at about 20 boxes right now. And I think it'll be about 30 before I packed all of this up. I left some books here just for background sake. But now as I'm moving, I'm, I feel that I'm much more aware now of the time and space that these books take out and out of all of it, the weight of the books. So I better wrap this up now because there's still a lot of things to pack. And for you that are new here, I do have a playlist on a minimalist's view on collecting where I have several videos on how you can view this hobby. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the new old place in the next video. So thanks so much for watching. See ya.